All right, so hello everyone. My name is Ms. Lucia, I'm one of the librarians. Uh, today we're gonna be doing uh, some STEAM story time. Um, STEAM is uh, short for science, technology, engineering, art, what else am I missing, and math. So that's what STEAM means. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about um, some math um, and then we're gonna do some more fun things. We're gonna um, learn about some science too. So I thought first we would start with our math. Let me just switch my camera here. All right, so I have a story here. It's called, Now What? And here we have our puppy and some blocks. And I have some blocks here and our puppy friend to help show you the math a little bit better. All right, so let's start. The story is called, Now What? Wow, there's lots and lots of blocks. This one is pretty long, but is it long enough for a snooze? Let's look, there's one, two, three, four corners. Two are long and two are short. This is a rectangle. So let's see if it's gonna be good for the puppy to snooze. Hmm, what do you think? Is this good enough for the puppy to sleep on? Yes or no? No, I don't think so. It's too short to snooze and it's a little too skinny. All right, so we have some more blocks, right? We just need another one that looks just like this, right? So do we see another rectangle? Uh, nope. No rectangle. Okay, no problem. There's only one rectangle, but we do have these these guys right here. To make a rectangle. Yeah, let's see. So yeah, we have one, two, three, four corners, and all these lines are the same. These are squares. And when we put them together, they do make a rectangle. That's right. So I like that. We can make the bed a little bit longer, right? Yeah. So let's I couldn't see. heal, I couldn't heal. <laughs> all right, so let's see if now it's good enough for the puppy to sleep on, all right? So, okay, it's long, it's long enough, right? But it's still too short. All right, let's go see if we have any more square blocks, right? Yeah. Okay, no. does anyone see any square blocks here? No. No, oh no, now what? All right, we can, we can figure this out. Okay, so we have these shapes right here. We have lots of these. Excuse me? Yes. It will make squares. That's right. So here's how we're gonna make a square. So there's one, two, three sides. And these are the tri uh, triangles. So if we say we put a triangle over here, mm, I, it's still long enough, right? So I think maybe we can add another triangle here. What do the, these two triangles make? There's one, two, three, the square, that's right. So since we have plenty of triangles, let's make some more squares right there. Um, yeah, that works, right? All right, so let's see. We have our puppy laying down. Okay, it's now long enough and it's wide enough. I think that worked. What do you think? I think it worked. I think it worked too, nice job. So what did we learn? We learned that with triangles, they can make squares. They can make squares. And I mean, if you can use two triangles, Make a diamond. You can make a diamond, yeah. Let's say we can make a diamond. And but that also makes a square. Is that cool? Yeah. Nice. So now we have a little uh, bed for our puppy. So I'll go over it again. We had our rectangle and we have our squares. 
it wasn't long enough, right? Okay, so we did have our triangles. We made one square. Made the other square. Uh huh. Made the square square. And three. And there it is. It could fit our puppy just right. Nice yeah. job, everyone. So let me just switch the camera again. And we can go on to our next story. Let me just put these blocks away. Okay, so this next story I really like. It's called Old Rock. So we have our rock right here. It's called Old Rock and he's not boring. Old Rock has been sitting in the same spot at the edge of a clearing in the middle of a pine forest for as long as anyone could remember, and even before that. Being a rock seems awfully boring, said the tall pine. You sit in the same spot day after day, said the spotted beetle. It's a very nice spot, said the old rock. Don't you want to go anywhere, asked the hummingbird. We have our friends here. I've flown all over the world and sipped the nectar of exotic flowers. I surely would be bored if I could not fly, said the hummingbird. I flew once, said the old rock. Gosh, said tall pine. How? asked the spotted beetle. Rocks don't fly, say, said Hummingbird. Do rocks fly? No. No, I wonder what he's talking about. Old Rock told them about the time in the beginning when darkness was all around. And then I erupted out of a volcano and soared through a fiery sky into the bright light of the new world. There he is, he's flying. Sometimes rocks do that. <laughs> so when a volcano erupts, right, it's like an explosion. So this rock came from a volcano. So when the volcano erupted and everything exploded, he was one of the flying rocks. So that's what he meant. So it was just the one time, said Hummingbird. And now you're sitting here, said Tall Pine. Being bored, said the spotted beetle. I'm not bored said Old Rock. Don't you want to see more? asked the spotted beetle. If I climb to the tip top branch of tall pine, I might see a deer mouse nibbling seeds in a nearby tree or watch ships sailing across the big lake. Old Rock said, I've seen a lot Old Rock told them about the time a group of friendly dinosaurs lumbered by, munching every leaf in sight. Then, many years later, a not-so-friendly dinosaur came looking for a meal. All right, so here we have the dinosaur with Old yeah. Rock. Yeah. Wow, this rock must be very old. Time passed, and things changed, and the world chilled. Uh, I don't know if you see that dinosaur, but I think he's a fossil now. Which wasn't too bad because Old Rock took a ride in a glacier and toured the land. There's Old Rock. Did you know that glaciers move? They move very, very tiny amounts, but they do move. Once the glacier melted, it left me perched on top of a ridge and I could see the place where the sky touches the earth. Oh. My, you've seen a lot, said the spotted beetle. How unusual, said the hummingbird. Yes, but that was ages ago, said Tall Pine. Our 
aren't you bored now? Don't you want to move? My limbs flutter gently in the breeze and dance wildly when the wind blows. I've never danced, but I'm pretty good at doing somersaults, said the old rock. Somersaults. Old rock revealed that after teetering on the ridge for a while and the growl rumbled and I tumbled down, down, down into the valley. The grasses grew and mastodons roamed and lakes formed. Wow. Oh, he's sitting on the rock. I never knew a rock had moves like that, said Tall Pine. I wish I could have seen those things, said Spotted Beetle. What happens next? asked Hummingbird. A pine forest sprouted up all around me. One day, a strong breeze shook a pine cone loose. From the pine cone, a, feet, a seed fell onto the forest floor. I watched that seedling grow to be the tall pine who dances in the wind and keeps me company. Sometimes a spotted beetle wanders along to report all that he sees. And every so often, the loveliest hummingbird stops to rest after a long flight. And she describes the amazing places she has visited. It's a very nice spot, said Old Rock. Yes, it is, agreed Tall Pine. Very nice, said Spotted Beetle. Not boring at all. The end. What do you think? Was that rock boring or was he, did he have a lot of fun throughout the years? I think he had a lot of fun. Fun. Yeah, cool. So, you know, since fun. Fun, right? I would have liked to see all that. Uh, all the stuff that the old rock has seen. So I thought it would be fun too that if I could show you a couple of rocks that we have at the library. Let's see. So let's start. Mm, let's start with this one. So here I have, it might be better with the other camera. I have this right here. Might not be able to see it well, but it's light pink. And it's, you can see it. Can you guess what this is? It's pink. It's a rock. It is a rock, you're right. <laughs> so it is a rose quartz and it gets its name from its very light pink color. Surprisingly quartz, is found in many places around the world. So it's very common to find. So let's see what else I have. Let's see, oh, this one's cool. No, this one's not really a rock, but it is at the same time. This is something called petrified wood. Petrified. Yeah, right? So you have something organic, like a tree, like the wood from a tree. But over time, it had turned into like a fossil. So now it's inorganic, right? Is that cool? Yeah. What else do I have? Uh, oh, how about this one? This one. It's kind of gray with some pink on it. It sparkles a little bit. It's called what? rose. So it kind of sparkles a little bit and there's some pink. All right, so actually we have a lot of these in New Jersey as well. Um, here's a true fact. Some of the largest ones of these crystals were found in New Jersey. So these big rocks, you know, was found, these little pink, pink spots. One of the biggest crystals of these were found in New Jersey. Whoa. All right, how about this one here? It's just a white, white thing. It's called feldspar. And it, it is one of the most common minerals 
found on Earth. And we have this really beautiful stone, kind of like a very light green color. It's called adventuring. So this is actually it's like really, really nice. It kind of looks like chalk almost, but it's light green. This one is called a selenite rose. Now, uh, you might not be able to see them too well. There's like some. I see it. Yeah, so it, the rose, that's where it gets its name from, kind of looks like a flower. That's the selenite rose. And this one, it looks similar to the, the adventure, adventuring one, but this one is called Amazonite. Can you take a guess where this might be from? Amazonite. You think it's named after a store? Yeah. Yeah, or maybe the Amazon River? Can you take a guess? I've never been there. <laughs> never? It's a bit far away. So this one is named after the Amazon River. And it's, it's almost like a very pale mint color. This is orange calcite. And as the name suggests, it has a very pale orange color. So apparently when you drop calcite in vinegar, uh, it'll start to fizz. And the fizz that comes out of it is a gas. All right, this one you might know. If you know it, you can say it. It's kind of purple. So this is an amethyst. They come from inside these rocks when you crack them open, nice and purple. I actually have a lot of amethyst. So I have all of these amethysts and they're my favorite, just like how they look. Very cool. Yeah. And I'm sure maybe you've seen this stuff before, but these are clear. These are called quartz. That's a little different from our rose quartz, right? This one's clear. This one is rose colored. Pink. And I think I have something else that's pretty cool. I have some shark teeth. I know it's not rock, but you can find them on land, especially by the beach. Are they real? They are real. How did you get them? <laughs> find them. The next time you go, go down to the beach, look through the sand, and you might find one. These are just very tiny, though. I've seen some that are much bigger. And sometimes if you're lucky, you can find arrowheads. These are made from different stones and such. These are really cool. Sometimes you can find crabs. Oh yeah, crabs? <laughs> yeah, sometimes I find crabs. Oh, that's cool too. I've never found a crab. And this is the last one I have to show you. This one sparkles and it looks gold. We call this one fool's gold. Because even though it sparkles and it has a cold, gold color, it's not really gold. So those are my rocks. And if you'd like, you know, you can always go out into your yard 
do a little digging and I'm sure you'll find something cool down there. All right, so if you guys are ready, we can do our last activity. We're gonna make a DIY lava lamp. And you should have gotten some of the directions and supplies. If you don't have the materials, you can watch me do it. That's fine. All right, so let me just get this stuff out of the way. All right, so we have some vegetable oil some food coloring. Yeah. I have some water. This, these Alka-Seltzer tablets. It's just gonna make the oil and everything move. And I have a little cup. Okay, so what I'm doing first is putting water into the cup. Into the cup, yep. And then my camera will help me. Okay. I'm adding a little bit of food coloring. That's about three drops for me. And then I'm taking a little bit of vegetable oil. And I'm just Putting a little bit in. That should be enough. And then, so you can see here, this is my water and this is the oil. And then, oh, I'm going to take tablets and I'm going to put something underneath this in case it bubbles over. And I'm going to put these tablets in and it should start to bubble. You see that? So you should be able to see the oil move and the colors move. Do you see what? it? I think it's really cool. The bubbling, it's moving around kind of like a regular lava lamp. I'll put another one in. Ah, oh, there it goes. What do you think of that? We couldn't do that. No? <laughs> no. Maybe if we get another tablet. But yeah, it's really bubbling up. And you can see the water coming up and the oil. You made it? Yeah. What color did you make yours? It's purple. 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 That's cool. Did anyone else make one? I didn't. You didn't? You can make one later, definitely. I don't have the right ingredients. We made a green one. Wow, that's cool. Oh. I made an orange one. Orange? Mine's red. Well, it kind of looks pink, but 
Uh, Mine's orange. orange. Yours is orange? Yeah. Good. I kind of like making this project. Oh, yeah? Why? Because, like, I never done it before. Never? It's fun, right? Yeah, super fun. And then, you know, mine's not fizzling anymore, but if I wanted to, I would just add another tablet. And then what you can do is you can try mixing different colors in it and see how that looks too. That looks fun. All right, so that's my story and my activities. I hope you liked it. We learned how to do some math stuff. We learned about some rocks and how old some rocks are and things like that. And then we made this little lava lamp. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you all again soon in other story time. So thank you so much for coming. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.